humans have known about Mars for millennia because it's one of the five planets that we can see in the night sky without the telescope. The planet Mars is named after the ancient Roman god of war, who was also called Mars. Now, while this planet has a violent name, it's actually a relatively peaceful planet because it's entirely inhabited by robots. Now, that's right. The only life that we found on the planet Mars includes the landers and rovers that we've been sending to the planet for about the past 50 years or so. Not much was known about Mars until telescopes were invented a few hundred years ago. Even in the 1700s, astronomers like Giovanni Cassini and Christian Huygens were able to study Mars's polar ice caps and observe how the ice caps seemed to change in size depending upon the season that was happening on Mars at the time. Now, Mars actually has seasons very similar to the Earth. But by the 1800s, Astronomers like Giovanni Schiaparelli began to note that there seemed to be long, darker features streaking across the surface of the planet Mars. Schiaparelli described these long lines as the Italian word canali, which be can be translated into English as channels or canals. Now, this discovery actually caused a lot of controversy at the time because of the differences in these two translations. A channel is a natural feature on the surface of the planet, but a canal is engineered by life. So this led a handful of scientists at the time to hypothesize that there's intelligent life on the planet Mars and that they'd actually built canals that transported water from the poles to the rest of the planet. Now, this idea actually inspired many science fiction novels at the time about what the so-called Martians were doing on the planet and what they were like. Now, eventually, these canals on the surface of Mars were shown to be an optical illusion. And that was actually shown by astronomers at the Royal Observatory Greenwich in London. These two astronomers were called Annie Maunder and Edward Walter Maunder. Irregular features on the surface of Mars can look like straight lines because of how far away the planet is from the Earth. However, this changed the way humanity thought of Mars, and there was always this hope there that life could exist on a planet that's relatively close to us in our solar system. We didn't really know what Mars was like until we sent some of the first spacecraft to the planet in the 1960s. Mars is also known as the red planet because of its color, and scientists soon realized that the planet didn't get its color from its temperature. Mars is actually pretty cold compared to the Earth, and that's because it's further away from the sun than the Earth is. An average day on Mars is about minus 60 degrees Celsius, but that can vary depending upon what season that's going on on the planet at the time, um, and also where you are on the planet. So the poles of Mars are colder than the equator of Mars, for example. The reddish color on the planet um, actually comes from the surface of Mars, which is mainly made up of iron oxide, which is just another way of saying rust. Now, the planet also has some incredible features on its surface, everything from canyons to ice caps to craters and even extinct volcanoes. Actually, the highest mountain in the entire solar system can be found on Mars. It's called Olympus Mons, and it's actually three times higher than Mount Everest on the Earth. What astronomers didn't find on the surface of Mars were large bodies of water, though there was some evidence that water existed on Mars in the past. The planet was revealed to be a cold desert that was seemingly devoid of all life. Humankind has had to change their opinion of this planet again. If life ever existed on Mars, then it was either in the past or it's currently much harder to find this life than what we thought.